Hello, this is David MacDonald and uh, welcome to the uh, Master Photographers Association's monthly critiques of wedding images for July 2023. We only have 16 images to talk about um, uh, this month, which is a little bit disappointing in um, peak wedding season, but um, there are some nice images to look at and some good things to, um, to discuss and talk about. So hopefully it'll be a great learning process. So we'll crack straight on. The first image we have, now we move on to three pictures from Marek Kozlik, and I really like this picture. Um, I really do. The colour management, again, is a bit of an issue. The groom looks looks very blue magenta in here. Um, I can see that you've put some um, uh, vignette in round it. The vignette's been handled really nicely. There's no sort of tunnelling looking through a keyhole effect on this. It's graduated in really gently and really nicely, but I do wonder if this um, vignette has affected the colour of the groom on his skin tones and on his hair, because the bride is a lovely colour. Um, so, so that's a little bit of shame, something to be... Um, so I'm wondering if this picture's been flipped. No, it's not been flipped, he's got his... He's got his um, um, hanky in the in the correct pocket. It's just that he's got his um, his buttonhole on the wrong side. Um, so yeah, men wear there's men wear buttonholes facing upwards and on the left hand side, on their left hand side, and ladies therefore is exactly opposite. So if the bride's mum's ever asking you where her corsage goes, it goes upside down and on the right hand side. It should be exactly opposite the groom. Anyway, look at all these lessons. Um, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I like this a lot. It's a little bit of a gap between them. I'd have prepped like to see them a little bit closer. I never like interle interlocking fingers like this. I think it makes a big clump um, as opposed to just holding hands. Um, but um, the feel of this is lovely. It's a beautifully seen location. The camera angle is great. The, 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 the foliage is eating into, eating into them just the right amount, really. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I think I think this is delightful. I love the vignette. Um, really nicely taken picture. Really nice detail. I love the um, the rim of light that's, that the groom's got to give himself. Both of them have got giving them some lovely separation from the dark trees behind. Um, yeah, really really well handled picture. Uh, congratulations, mate. And now we move into um into a city, and it's uh, again really nicely handled picture. Um, I, uh, I wonder whether I would have preferred her walking with the other leg forward and, and, and the leg coming out of the slit of the dress. She's, she's been brave enough to wear a dress with a big slit like this, so I'm assuming that she likes her legs. So I wonder whether that would have uh, been better showing. Although sometimes, you know, that would have then been the inside of the thigh. And sometimes that can look a little bit coarse. So, um, um, yeah, yeah, maybe not. I'm just thinking out loud when I'm, when, when I'm, uh, doing this critique um, everything's all pointing the same way uh, I mean you've, you've got her walking into the picture which is great it's exactly the right thing to do but she's also looking at whoever it is that she's walking with. of course makes the picture believable but I just wonder if she'd had the bouquet in her other hand um, and was looking down at the bouquet while she's walking whether that might have uh, broken up everything all just being in a straight line or whether she could be looking across that someone out of camera on the other side, then you'd question why it is that she's walking along the road that way. I don't, uh, just lots of things. There's lots of way, lots of things that I'm wondering whether could have um, made the picture more striking. Than this. I don't know that any of them would have done. Um, it's a nice image, nicely handled with great expressions. Um, yeah, congratulations again. And now we move into a, a third picture from America. It's another fine picture. I just don't think in this instance we needed the champagne glasses. Um, not sure why they would be stood looking at a camera in a clearly posed position with champagne glasses and a bouquet in their hand coming down a staircase. Um, so I just look at the believability. I look at this location and actually I know that there was a really fantastic picture that could have been made here. And having a bride and groom just looking at the camera isn't really it. Um, uh, Hoss 
great Hoss Madhavi would, would call this a tourist picture if this was outside and in front of, in front of a, a tourist location. He'd call it a tourist picture where they just stood with a in a in a great spot looking at the camera and smiling. You know, if they were looking at each other, or he was kissing her cheek, anything along those lines, it would have then looked much more like a grand moment in this fantastic location. Um, things that needed tidying up apart from that, I feel that there's a stair too many in the um, in the foreground, making them look like they're just hanging up in the air there. So I'd have lost a little bit of the foreground. Is that a drinking fountain just by the back of the groom's head there? So it looks like it might be. And the two signs are quite highlight and drag your eye away from the bride and groom. So all of that area I'd have probably just cloned down to, to the wall color. Um, and taking that away, that there would have been much less of a distraction coming out from the bride and groom. I think the statue, the statue on the left hand side, because it's so brightly lit, again is another distraction. I might have cropped that out. Not certain whether I cropped it out or just burnt it down. Um, but those things, all those things combined, mean, mean that there's it's a, it's a lovely looking bride and groom, well handled, professionally taken. I just think there's more magic that could have been making out of that picture. I'd highly commended for this picture um, from Marek, uh, in spite of me just feeling like it's all all in one plane from the from the bride's point of view. Um, it, there's no dispute, we've got lovely depth with the street scene wandering away down behind us, and that she's jumping out from that, whether that's been created with off-camera flash or whether it's been done, um, she's just in a little shaft of light from between buildings. I don't know, I suspect it's off camera flash, in which case it's been beautifully done, really nicely handled. So yeah, nicely commended for that. Yeah. Is this delightful picture from Marek, um, uh, in spite of the, 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 the blue magenta hair that the groom's got, um, uh, there's, and, and, and the clumpy hands, there's just a delightful wedding image, beautifully seen, beautifully captured expressions are lovely, they jump out from the background and what's quite a busy scene, they st your eyes still go straight to them uh, and that says a lot for the photographer skill. So congratulations Merrick, you are this month's winner uh, and for the rest of you I hope you've enjoyed the critique and learnt something about pictures. Speak to you next month.